10 oriental smelling fragrances that I personally think they are 10 out of 10 out of my collection. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. In today's video, I have a great video for the oriental smelling fragrances lovers. Behind me again in this basket, I have 10 of my absolute favorite oriental smelling fragrances that I'll give him a perfect score, 10 out of 10 for me personally. This is again out of my collection. If you want me to do another video for fragrances I don't own yet, but I want to, comment in the section down below. But before I start showing you my list, please show me some love by liking this video. Click that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it to not miss any of this guys and his top 10s in the future. Also, I'm just going to leave links down below, so go check him out if you see anything conveniently priced for you. Snatch yourself a bottle because you deserve it. And again, without making this video way too long, let's just grab the first one. We have a few Amwajis here, guys. So if you are an Amwaj lover, this is a great video for you. And the first Amwaj we have on this list is Jubilation 25. So if you just want to smell like a prince or a king, this is the scent for you. This scent smells like royalty. Literally one of the best smelling scents for me personally. And I only wear this scent for special occasion. I need to dress the part for this scent because this scent smells very expensive. Dried fruit, balsamic, incense smells amazing. You just got that right amount of sweetness just to make this scent very elegant. So if you are into elegant, very expensive smelling fragrances, try Jubilation 25 again. What a beautiful scent that is. I personally love it. I'm just gonna have to spray a little spray on my hand just because I, I miss it. I miss that smell. This is phenomenal, guys. Literally phenomenal scent. 10 out of 10 for me, period. I think I'm done with this video. I started this video very strong. Let's just grab another one. And this one is so good. One of my favorite rose oud combos out there. I'm just gonna have to spray this one on my other hand. This is 10 out of 10 guys. So I'm just gonna be a little overwhelmed with all these senses that I'm just gonna be craving for the whole duration of this video. I haven't worn this one in a long time too. This is a beast mode scent. So, oh my God. This is like candied, rosy, oody, medicinal in a way. Very, very elegant. If you are into rose oud fragrances and you just wanted something that smells expensive and smells very luxurious, look no further. Gold Rose Oud by Tiziana Terenzi is one of your best candidates period. You can also find it discounted online at a very reasonable price. So go check out the links down there. Oh my God, this is so good. This is something that will get you attention and it will get you compliments for sure. Literally, this one is very strong. I don't smell my Jubilation 25 no more. And I do have the vintage Jubilation 25 too, which is very strong. But now compared to this one, this is a beast. All I smell now is gold rose oud. So probably I'm not gonna spray anything no more because literally the whole room smell like gold rose oud. Go check out the links. Let's just go grab another one. Uh, another one from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. We have a couple from Tiziana Terenzi. They do have such great oriental leaning fragrances. And the next one we have here is Laudano Nero. This one right here, Laudano Nero. This is the beautiful scent, guys. Oh my God. It smells a little bit like a, a very easier to wear version of black Afghano. This is phenomenal. It's definitely oriental leaning, very strong. As a matter of fact, now this one is fighting with gold rose wood. Who's the strongest here? Definitely a little ambery, a little bit sweeter. Black Afghano by Nasumaro. So if you just wanted something very strong, not as strong as Black Afghano, vintage Black Afghano, but this one is very strong as well. But much likable, a little bit on the ambery, spicy side, Black Afghano-like, 
This is a great one. Very, very nice scent for me personally, Laudano Nero. I've been having this for the longest time. I haven't worn it in the longest time. And this one will cut through the winter season, no matter the weather condition is, alongside uh, Gold Rose Oud as well. Let's just grab another one. I'm already like having fun with this video, like spraying all the fragrances and, and I don't know what am I gonna do next. And this one is so good. I'm telling you guys, oh my God. Amouage Lyric Man. This one is so, so sexy. Again, it's gonna have to be a rose lover, but this is definitely a fresher rose with a hint of incense. Beautiful, beautiful scent that I haven't worn in the longest time as well. Let's just have a little spray here too. I haven't worn it in a long time. So I'm missing all these fragrances, guys. Come on, don't judge me. All I know that I'm gonna be smelling great with two different fragrances walking my dog right after this video. And this one, oh my God, this one is so good. Really, really good, guys. If you just wanna be sexy, if you just wanna get compliments, this is the scent for you. You're just gonna be okay with feminine leaning fragrances somehow. I'm not saying this fragrance is feminine, it's totally unisex. It says Lyric Man for God's sake, but a woman can pull this one off easily too. This is a very, very likable scent. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my God, I'm overwhelmed already with all these smells. I'm having so much fun on this video, guys. But Lyric Man, holy crap, so, so good. Another great one from the house of Amouage. The third Amouage we have on this list. I'm telling you, Amouage does really great oriental smelling fragrances. And the third one we have here is Opus Six. This is a great one, guys. I love this one personally. Okay, what happened to this sprayer? Okay, what am I gonna spray it? I, sh I wanna spray it and I don't know what happened to the sprayer. I actually I think I broke that bottle oh my god and look at my finger now oh that that would hurt I think the atomizer broke let's just try to push it down and... I think no I think it's still fine I just need to push it down a little bit more but uh, it, it'll work ah, I just got a paper cut because it was just way too sharp and now that would hurt thanks a lot Amouage thanks a lot Opus 6 did you see no, yeah, I think it still works. As a matter of fact, I had two bottles of this one back in the day because I loved it. It was one of my favorite, most complimented fragrances like ever bar none. Again, this one works on my skin perfectly. A lot of frankincense, a lot of amber. It gets a little powdery when it dries down, but like frankincense, incense amber. It smells really good on my skin, as a matter of fact. I'm glad I didn't actually break that bottle. The only bad thing about this bottle, just way too skinny, so you cannot place it like this, it's gonna fall. So either you're just gonna put it like sideways, or what I do, I just put it on the back of my closet and I just like hold it with another amouage in front of it. And now I smell a lot like Opus 6. I'm telling you, I do videos spontaneously and I don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect with me on my videos. So please show me some support by liking this video. Click that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any of this guys and his paper cuts in the future. All right, another guru. Oh my God, look at the blood. Oh my God, it's bloody now. Holy crap. And the next one we have on this list, it's a water-based fragrance and I think it's great. This one gets compliments, guys. It's strong, but it's not as strong as these fragrances. It's still very strong, don't get me wrong. But like literally, I wanna spray it because I haven't actually smelled it in a long time. First of all, I have nowhere to spray it. Second of all, this whole room actually be smelling with all these smells, especially Opus Sex, because I sprayed a lot of it and this one is a beast mode. But anyway, they just have a little bit of air spray. <coughs> strong, 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 strong. And it just pierces your nose. This is amazing. If you just want to go out on a date and you just want to get compliments, if you just want to smell very sexy, get yourself some Vertical Oud by Hermetica. 
This is so good. Rose oud again, yes, but very likable rose oud with a lot of raspberry. So the raspberry note here is big. Actually, I'm just gonna spray the side of my neck because this is really good, really, really good. Oh my God. As a matter of fact, it is strong. It's competing with all the other smells all together and I can't smell it. Literally, I can't smell it. Vertical Oud, it's such a great scent. You can also find it discounted on the links down below at a very reasonable price for like 100 ml for a niche scent, water-based that projects and it lasts for a long time. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Vertical Oud, I love it personally. 10 out of 10 for me. Gets a lot of compliments. One of my most complimented back in the day. Another great one, this time from the house of Zerjov, and this one is Wardesina. I love this one. At a certain point in life again, I had two bottles of this because I really liked this scent. It was one of my absolute favorite rose-based fragrances out there. It's not overly rosy, it's more on the tobacco. So if you love tobacco-based fragrances with some patchouli and some rose on top, Wardasino, or, or now they call it Afghano Rosso. Wardasina, it's such a beautiful one. One of my favorite, personal favorite that lasts on me like 48 hours. All these fragrances last forever, guys. The best part about it that it just leaves a great sillage. Such a beautiful scent that I personally love. And the next one we have here, another Zerjaf, and this one is Alexandria too. This is such a very complex Udi scent. It's likable, yes, but it's still very risky, very Middle Eastern-y, Oriental smelling. Anything Udi is Oriental, Middle Eastern-y smelling. But this one's still very Oriental, but got a Western touch into it. The lavender, the cinnamon, the smoky nuances. It's a very nice, very complex scent. Is it safe? Not really. You're just gonna have to try before you buy. But again, I know a lot of people that love this scent. A lot of people that raves about this scent. Alexandria too, such a beautiful 10 out of 10 scent for me personally, oriental smelling wise. Let's just go grab another one, MFK. MFK does really great oriental smelling fragrances. And Oud Silk Mood is my favorite oriental smelling fragrance from the house of MFK. This is again another rose oud combo, but different. It's got that papyrus green nuance that makes it smell different than all the other rose oud fragrances out there. It's very likable, totally unisex. A man or a woman can pull this one off and it is a 10 out of 10 for me personally. It lasts for a long time, it projects. Most of the rose oud fragrances last for a long time. But this one's such a classy, elegant, rose oud combo. So if you just wanted something very classy, very elegant, very sophisticated, very smooth, but strong at the same time, I think this is the smoothest rose oud combo in the market, period, bar none, beautiful. I personally love it, 10 out of 10. Last but not least, it's from the house of Inicio, and I'm talking about oud for greatness. This is very oriental. This is very Middle Eastern-y. This is strong, sweet, sickly sweet. Not very oody, but more on the saffron. Spicy, but elegant at the same time. Beautiful, great scent for a night out. This one will get you compliment. You'll be smelling totally different from your other Western-based fragrances out there. This is something unique, but gets compliments at the same time. All these fragrances are head turners. They're very strong and they will get you attention definitely for a night out or if you just want to stand out, especially if you are an extrovert, especially if you are an extrovert and you just wanted something very classy, elegant, smells very expensive. These are the 10 Oriental Middle Eastern fragrances for you. Again, I'm just going to leave links down there for full bottles and samples as well in case if you just want to try before you buy. So please go check it out. Again, please show me some love by liking this video. Click that subscribe button and show me in the comment section down below what is your favorite out of these 10 fragrances that I just showed you today. Also, let me know in the comment section down below of my favorite Oriental Middle eastern -y fragrances that I wish to have in my collection that it is on my to buy list that I don't own yet. Let me know in the comment section down below and I can do that video for you. And this is pretty much it guys. See you guys next time. Peace.